Hey guys, it is Julie here with JT Wealth. In today's video, we are chatting about Fisker. So let's get into it. All right guys, welcome back and thank you so much for being here. Like I said, today we are talking about Fisker, who is a newly public electric vehicle company on the market. So today we are gonna take a look at what this company does and how they recently became public, plus some future outlooks for them as well. And just before we get into all of that info, I just wanna take a second to say happy birthday to the United States Marine Corps. These guys are 245 years young and are the only military branch that started in a bar. So cheers to that. And just before we start talking about Fisker, this is just your friendly reminder that if you enjoy this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and leave your thoughts down below in the comments. And don't forget to check out some of the great links we have below in our description. Right now, Weeble has a great promotion where they are giving you three free stocks just for signing up and funding your account. So make sure to check them out. Okay, now let's talk about Fisker. So Fisker trades under the ticker FSR after completing their merger with SPAC company Spartan Energy on October 29th. Recently, these guys had a nice little jump in price and are now trading in the high $13 range. Now, Fisker creates electric vehicles and their flagship Fisker Ocean is said to be the world's most sustainable vehicle. It is an all electric zero emission car and is said to be the world's greenest car. Now, the Fisker Ocean SUV is said to come to market in 2022 and actually comes in at a fairly affordable price point at $37,499. What also is interesting is how they are doing their lease program, which they are calling their Fisker Flexi Lease. It is come as you are and come as you go, doing away with long-term commitments with a 30,000 mile of driving allowance, insurance and service included. So you're free to take the ocean anywhere and return it at any time with no penalties. Now Fisker became a publicly traded company as of October 29th when they completed a reverse merger via SPAC company Spartan Energy. After the merger closed, we didn't see a giant spike up in price, even leading up to it, which we have seen with a lot of these EV spec mergers. However, in the last week, we have seen a bump in their stock price. And that was largely due to Monday morning having Cohen analyst Jeffrey Osborne initiating coverage of the Fisker stock with an outperform rating and a price target of $22. On October 15th, Fisker announced an agreement with Austrian contractor Magna Steyr. Now Magna is an established manufacturer that makes vehicles for several companies, including Jaguar, BMW, and Toyota. So under this deal, Fisker will utilize Magna's electric vehicle platform. So as Osborne sees it, Fisker's go-to-market plan does not require them to build their own factory, which is opposite of that ramp up experience that Tesla had, where they had to spend months and billions of dollars getting the production up to speed for their Model 3 sedan. Fisker also has about 9,000 paid deposits for the ocean, which fully covers the anticipated 2022 production. Fisker is building an experience center in LA in May, as well as adding influencers and celebrities to help build their brand. So they anticipate that this will drive the deposit base higher in 2021 and serve as a catalyst for the shares in the pre-production period. The $22 price target reflects a two times multiple on the company's fiscal 2023 revenue, which is a 70% discount to rival Tesla's current multiple. So as of this article, shares jumped about 28% up to those high $13 marks. Now, unlike some other EV SPAC mergers that we've seen recently, Fisker's stock hasn't soared and then crashed as we've seen in other instances. Although there are still some people who are saying to be cautious getting into this Fisker stock. 
And this Investor Place article by Larry Sullivan says to give Fisker time to settle after the merger with SPAC, and that the FSR stock is tempting, but now only the most risk tolerant investors should buy this EV company. Now that the Spartan Fisker transition is complete, investors may wonder if it's time to buy the resulting stock. The quick answer would be a wholehearted maybe. Their follow-up response would be to urge a healthy dose of caution. Furthermore, October was a whirlwind month for Fisker, merging with Spartan and going public, but the reception has been a bit lukewarm. They opened at less than $10 per share and on the third day of trading only reached $11.65. And as I've said, we have now seen it up in the higher $13 mark since then. But to be fair, FSR stock is faring better than SPAC did in the days leading up to the merger, so their initial gain is not bad. That said, it is not catching fire like some of the other EV names have done, and it may be that Fisker's previous experience is a factor. And that previous experience relates to the fact this is Henrik Fisker's second go in the business. And he founded Fisker Automotive in 2007, and the company produced a hybrid named Karma. Now the venture didn't succeed and went bankrupt about six years later. So Fisker's relaunch is focused on producing this all electric car. Now, personally, I do think it is a positive thing for Fisker's stock that they didn't just shoot up based on the hype surrounding this merger and haven't quite caught fire like some of the other EV companies have, as we definitely saw a big correction on those two. And after this merger with Spartan Energy, they do have about a billion dollars of cash on hand. And while they haven't set a date yet for their first earnings report as a public company, it is likely to happen in the next few weeks. And they expect that Henrik Fisker will update investors on the company's plans to deploy its fresh capital over the next couple of years. So Fisker has an attractive vehicle to build, a contract with a reputable vehicle manufacturer in place, and a healthy amount of cash on their balance sheet. So all in all, some good future potential for Fisker, but we have seen a lot of new entrants into the EV space lately, and a lot of competition heating up in that arena. Now with the production of the Fisker Ocean not expected until 2022, it'll be interesting to see what happens with this stock. They do have a solid amount of pre-orders, and like we said, it could increase as well in 2021. So what do you guys think is gonna happen here? How high can this stock go before they actually have have these vehicles out for production and on the market. You know, I always love hearing from you guys, so please make sure to leave it down below in the comments where you think this stock is going to go. As a reminder, these videos are never any suggestion to buy or sell a certain stock and are merely for information and entertainment purposes only. Any trades should always be made based on your own due diligence. If you made it all the way to the end of the video, make sure you give us a big thumbs up and make sure that you're subscribed to the channel as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day and cheers.